Welcome to video 11-4A, uh, Area of Kites. Uh, before we do anything, let's talk about what the definition of a kite is. This is one of those harder um, definitions to remember. A kite is a quadrilateral with two disjoint pairs of consecutive sides congruent. What does that mean? Here's a kite. These two sides are congruent. These two sides are congruent. This rhombus is also a kite. These two sides are congruent. These other two sides are congruent to each other. A square is also a kite. These two sides are congruent. These other two consecutive sides are congruent. So when I talk about the area of a kite, I really mean the area of a kite, rhombus, or a square. And the formula is 1 half d sub 1 times d sub 2. So d1 is the diagonal 1, and d2 is diagonal 2. So diagonal, 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 diagonal. All right, so this is pretty straightforward. Example one, find the area of a kite with diagonals 9 and 14. Okay, so the area of a kite equals 1 half d1 times d2 equals 1 half 9 by 14. Again, that 1 half kind of from the triangle thing. Uh, I would take 1 half of 14 and get 7, and 7 by 9 to get 63. So 63 units squared would be the area of the kite. There you have it, how to find the area of kites, which also include uh, rhombi and squares.